I'm in Montana. God bless America, huh? You know, we've been doing this uh, experimentation of self-government for the last 72 years, and I get to hang out with the world's greatest shit kickers, and that's what I'm doing tonight. Thank you very much for that. And obviously, I'm speaking to real Montanans out there tonight. He's straps from here. You know, we could have a lot of fun with me because I'm a fun guy, but this is as serious as a heart attack. October 2020. Thank you for being here. Thank you for caring. This is real Montana, not David Letterman Montana. Yeah! And, uh, what a prick, huh? you. So I've uh, celebrated my American dream for 72 years, celebrating God, family, country, constitution, freedom, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, the Ten Commandments, the Golden Rule, and law and order. Yes, I wrote Wang Dang, Sweet Poon Tang, and I meant it, but in there somewhere is my life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Are you still with me, my yeah. The Secret Service took away my bow and arrow, but I still have a guitar. Actually, they didn't. They wanted me to show them how it worked. So I'm here tonight because I care. I'm just a guitar player. I never went to college. I was too busy learning shit. Yeah. And what I learned is that rugged individualism, work ethic, sacrifice, risk-taking. My dad used to say, put your nose to the grindstone. A lot, of, a lot of young people don't even know what that means. I hope the Montana children know what that means. I've done a lot of D.A.R.E. programs in schools around the country over the years, and in the last few years, as a grandfather to 11 snipers, I, uh, I realized that most of the kids in America, if you handed them a hammer, they wouldn't know which end to grab. So we're working on fixing that, which brings me to the point of tonight. You people, you all vote, don't you? Yeah! You all vote God, family, country, don't you? Yeah! But you know who lives in Montana? I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, when it was the arsenal of democracy. And by the way, every place I go turns into the arsenal of democracy. A guy asked me, do you carry a gun? Why would I carry a gun? That would be like carrying a bullet. Um, are you still with me out there? <laughs> Am I like a Montana guy or what? So, so I've been like this my whole life. I didn't invent the middle finger, but I perfected it by the age of four. And in the once great state of Michigan, the hippies kicked our ass. We're so embarrassed. We have a governor that's worse than yours. It, it, it's, it's just freak town. But she didn't win. Barack Obama didn't win. We lost. And let me tell you why, because this is a great gang. This is a great gang of positive energy. I love it. Yeah. So much. I would balance your beer hurt if you let me. I love you madly. But you know the real curse in America, worse than Marxism, worse than the Democrats, well, like one and the same, worse than Antifa, worse than Antifa, worse than Black Lives Matter terrorists, worse than that, worse than MS-13, worse than that, apathy. Apathy ushered in the dirt bags. And in Montana, the percentage of hunters that embody God, family, country, freedom. Ranching. <laughs> I don't know what she said, but I probably agree. <laughs> I got my hearing aids in, but I still can't hear a squat. <laughs> I hear your laughter and I appreciate it. The apathy of Americans who believe in God, family, country, freedom, the Second Amendment, they don't vote. It's absolutely a curse. We've got the statistics, and it, 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 it shocked us. So here's the point. Everybody here has friends at hunting camp, at the gun range, at the bowling alley. 
Do you bowl in Montana? What? Yeah. I shoot bowling pins with a 10 millimeter. So I just, I just, I just bowling. <laughs> I'm a riot. But that's your job. That's your battle cry right now. Your family and friends, your coworkers, people at church and school. You need to fix the ones that have abandoned this experiment in self-government. Let me put it this way. I'm honored and privileged to be here tonight to hang with Cameron Haynes, with great people, the greatest people in the world. These Secret Service dudes, 